All right, so you guys know those tank traps you saw in Saving Private Ryan and a lot of other World War II pictures and movies? Yeah, I'm going to show you how to make those for tabletop today. So get your chisels ready. Grab some coffee stir sticks because, as you can see, that's the main thing we're making them out of and this is exactly what we're building. Two of these will make one tank trap also known as check hedgehogs. Try to get the straighter, less effective sticks if you can. You'll want some wood glue. Elmer's will work, but I like wood, it sets faster. You'll need a pencil. I decided to go macho here. And use a carpenter's. You don't have to, I did, whatever. And get some nippers. That's all you need to build these. This part's a lot easier if you have a cutting mat that has notations of measurement like inches here. One stick basically will give you three sections at two inches each. So I'm gonna mark out two inches like you see I do here. And then mark the one inch in between those two with a different kind of marking. This will help when you put these together. A little bit closer up, your stick looks like that. Go ahead and do the same thing with the second one because you're gonna need the exact same proportions and sizes. Now we're gonna cut these apart, so be careful, these will go flying with nippers. But cut on your two inch marks, your solid lines in my case, until you have six two inch long pieces. Now these go together in an L shape, so go ahead and pair them up into twos, like I'm doing here. Make sure they're roughly the same length. You can sand these down. I'm not really getting super precise on these pieces. They're meant to be very crude. Grab your wood glue, and we're gonna put them together, like I said, in an L shape. So glue along one edge, you really don't need a lot, and especially with a good wood glue like this one, tight bond, this is my first time using it and I was very happy with it, so if you're looking for a wood glue, that's a good one to get, just make sure your cap isn't all stuck. <laughs> okay, where was I? Okay, good, so gluing, don't need a lot, but go ahead and put these together and make sure your center mark lines up for both of them. I keep the markings on the outside of the L and one side goes against the other so there's a longer face if you will that's totally fine
There you can see we've got all three of these pieces built exactly the same way. Give those a little bit to dry. They don't need to be rock hard, but it's better if you let this set for a minute or two before you move on to the next part. Okay, so now we're gonna start actually gluing this together. So this is where those middle points come in handy because we're gonna use those to line up and try to get these so you can sort of put them together in the middle. And we're gonna take one and we're gonna use the long face, in other words, the part where this would connect with both sticks and do the same thing to another piece. And you're gonna line it up so that your markings Remember, that's the exact middle of two inches. So if we put it together like this, it's not actually gonna line up correctly. What we wanna do is slide that far piece down so that the edge of the mark is right up against the edge there. And that gives us the place to put our third one. So again, trusty wood glue, little dab will do ya. And just stick those together. Now, when you go to put on the third bit, make sure you glue both faces where it's going to go in because you want this to hold both pieces together. Each, each piece should be sticking to two pieces if you've done this right. And there's our basic shape. And again, this can be a little bit fiddly while it's drying. Just try to get it as lined up and as, as correct as you can. As you can see, that just kind of falls right apart. Great, put it back together. I did a batch of these and the first thing we're gonna do is just paint them all solid black. Craft paint is totally good here. Plaid, the makers of Ceramco, is a friend of the channel. So, using them. And this is, again, it's not to be tidy. Just get this slapped on every surface, every angle, every part of the trap, because we're gonna paint this up to look metallic. You could do a number of different things. That's just how I'm rolling. When they're all solid black, they'll look like this. Next is metal. And I went for a dark iron and a real, real light silver to go on top of that. The idea here was to dry brush, but I ended up basically painting the whole thing this dark iron color because it doesn't show up very well. It's not very bright. pretty dull. It doesn't look rusty. It just looks dull. Very, very dark iron. Now 
Then we're gonna switch over to the bright one and this is just gonna be, you know, a really dirty highlight. We're just going through the edges, the raised parts. This is just gonna give us some standout color and some definition. And I'm just, you know, if I if I basically overbrushed on the iron, I'm just gonna dry brush on this. That's the same kind of consistency you want. nothing to it you can go back over and just brighten everything up if you really want to and you can see what we got going here mod podge is just smart because the way i'm doing these they're not going to have a base so these are going to get thrown around and just thrown on the table sometimes so they can fit any terrain which is another perk of doing them this way And there's our tank traps. Now, I've seen these done where they actually have the metal plate in the middle, grooves, different colors, all kinds of things. You can expand on this as you want. This is just a really simple build anyone can do. So if this has been helpful, please do leave a like, comment if you've tried this or done something different, and subscribe to see more videos like this. It really does help the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one.